try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving we've come to have a look it's uh, four pound fifty for adults to come and have a look at the village so it's a representation of what Burford on water was like in the 1930s the model village has actually got listed status um, so it can't be touched or altered in any way and it's beautiful it's fantastic because it was uh, built such a long time ago as you can see the wheelchair access uh, stops right here because the paths get uh, quite thin and uh, obviously they don't want any damage and just to give you uh, a little bit of scale there's the house and I'm uh, kneeling down so yeah a miniature model village of Burford on water back in the day of uh, the 1930s This cottage here, locals and visitors alike, have been heard to describe this fairy tale cottage as belonging to Snow White or Hansel and Gretel. So there's little plaques all around that show you uh, what the buildings were back in the day. And this one behind me used to be the old cottage hospital. So here we are in Burton on the Water and uh, we stopped in this huge car park. Uh, it's £15 for a overnight, there's no services, there's bins nearby, dedicated motorhome bays, really really quiet, nice and peaceful. Burton on the Water, it's the main car park in the town centre, a five minute walk on flat ground straight into the town centre and to the river. The overnight parking starts at uh, six o'clock in the evening till nine o'clock in the morning. So if you come before that time or want to stay after that time, then unfortunately you do have to pay extra. It's 15 pound for overnight. And then as you've seen, there's extra charges outside of those hours, which to be fair, is uh, a bit of a rip-off um, if you're going to stop overnight you expect that it's going to be 24 hours that you're paying for um, unfortunately it's not there is a petrol station literally just right outside the car park uh, at the moment it's quite reasonably uh, priced on the fuel I think it was uh, uh, 156.9 uh, um, and that seems to be quite reasonable at this time um, there's a lawn disc shop, uh, convenience shop, uh, within a few minutes walk, but the petrol station also has a little co-op garage uh, shop selling uh, all the normal garage essential stuff, um, bread and 
uh, things like that. So yeah, there's lots of amenities um, within an easy walk off the car park, which is great for us. The motorhome bays are actually quite large. Uh, as you can see from the back there, we're quite close, but we're nowhere near the front. We're seven and a half meters, so you'd easily get a nine meter van in here, absolutely no problem. Within an easy walking distance, there's loads and loads of things to do. There's Birdland, the Motor Museum, the Model Village, the Model Railway Exhibition, absolutely loads of things. Walking along the river is just fantastic. <music> left of last night behind and I need to get some peace of mind and when I need some peace of mind I, I know where to find it there. by the end of the road to have a sunny day yesterday and it was uh, fantastic just having a little walk along the river. We even went to uh, an award-winning chippy last night for tea which was uh, yeah something a little bit special save me cooking. But fantastic day absolutely fantastic day. Today though has gone a bit cloudy so for this one guys we're going to call it a day and uh, we're going to catch you on the next one so please don't forget to like subscribe and share the video give us a comment down below and keep safe see you on the next one most people seem to be starting the walk so it looks like they're starting it from here and then going up here on the grass I might have a little walk up in a bit and see what it's like but uh, yeah absolutely lovely. <laughs>